Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and this is a little bonus video that I made for our November release. So hey everybody, so I'm using our layered frame journal die along with our bow dies, uh, Jada Blossom's mini tag dies too, their candy grid dies, their rickrack topper dies, their border dies, and their brand new gingerbread candies grid style stamp set. So I thought I'd make a couple of treats really quickly. So what I did was, is I used this little die, and that's from the Layered Frame and Journal, cut it out twice in American Crafts uh, foil to make two little kisses. Then I sort of skipped to this, and I'm going to add these cute little sayings from our Gingerbread Candies grid style stamp set onto the bottom of Little Hershey Kisses. So I did cut these out with the uh, grid style, or the grid candy grid die. Um, you'll notice that I did um, stamp them onto white, Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock, and I colored them with Copic markers, and they'll be listed on my blog. Um, but the little shaped ones, like the little candy cane and the little gumdrop, I did cut out using my brother Scan and Cut with a 0.4 border just because I wanted to have them in the shape of what they were, if you know what I mean, instead of like, you know, cutting it out with the round circle. So I'm adding all of these cute little sayings to the bottom of these Hershey Kisses. You know, I'm just using some glue dots. So I just find that's the easiest way to do it for me. So there you go. And I kind of like to stick them on the, you know, the little glue dot first. When I was coloring all of the little bottoms, you'll notice that I have them stuck down onto post-it tape. I just find that's the easiest way to kind of keep them, keep them in line. So there you go. So now I'm pulling out Jada Blossom's three by four inch clear bags and I've got some white filler and I'm trying to get these little kisses lined up where I want them in these little bags. Now, I don't know about you, but this is the most frustrating part about using clear bags for treats is <laughs> getting the treat in there straight so you could see the bottoms of the treats. It drives me bonkers. And also why I record a voiceover because if you could hear me talking to myself you would be shocked at what I was saying when I was doing this it was driving me crazy so I tend to use my reverse tweezers to try and help myself get them lined up but you know you got to do what you got to do so I stress and fuss fart around trying to get these straight they drive me crazy I don't know what it is I tend to prefer to make Jaded Blossom's little, um, you know, treat boxes. And then you just throw these treats in the box and no one cares if they're pointing in the right way. But when it comes to using a clear bag, you want them to show, right? Okay, so I'm using our Rick Rack or Jaded Blossom's Rick Rack topper die. And I cut it out of that pure poppy cardstock from Paper Trank. I like the weight of Paper Trank cardstock for using this, doing this. Then I'm using um, Doodlebug's 12 inch night before Christmas plaid. And I'm going to use that as a layer. So first I sort of attach my topper to my treat with a mini stapler. That will be covered by the little front layer. So I'm just going to get them all in place. Got to get the air out of the bag. There we go. And I'm going to line it up. And then I will, like I said, use two little staples to get there are three staples to get them all lined up. Then I will st <clears throat> stick down my little plaid paper on the front of each of these using ATG tape. And there you go. I love these little Rick Rack toppers. I just think they're so sweet and really fast to, you know, make a treat to give out. I find it's just if you're crazy like me, lining up Hershey Kisses in the bag might drive you crazy. But if you used like just normal treats and stuff, shove them in there, you'd be in business. Okay, so those are the two little Hershey Kisses shapes that I made, right? So all I did was I cut out that uh, layered frame and journal die out of silver foil cardstock. Then I used one of our border dies to sort of, you know, cut off the bottom and add stitching. And then you've got a little Hershey's Kiss. So now I have some little bows that I cut out of uh, Doodlebug's 12-inch Petite Prince Cupcake Swiss Dot cardstock. Say that 10 times. Okay, and I'm just going to put together these little bows. You'll notice that I use my Teflon bone folder just to sort of, you know, soften the paper so I can bend it and get a nice curve. And then I'm going to use my mini, or my mini glue gun to get it stuck together. There you have it. 
And I'm going to make two because I have two treats, right? Why not? And I'm using like a non-stick sheet under there, just, you know, in case I get any hot glue on anything. It'll peel right off. So there you have it. Grab my little reverse tweezers just to make sure that they stick down. It sticks down well. There you go. This is what I do when I'm using just wet glue also. So now um, I have the two little sentiments. Those are also from the Gingerbread Candies grid style stamp set. And they're stamped onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. And then I went ahead and I cut them out using Jaded Blossoms mini tag dies too. And I did stack them up twice just to add a little bit of, you know, weight to them. And I'm going to stick them down on the bottom of each of those treat, like the treat fronts, right? So one says Merry, Ki Merry Kissmas, and the other one says Gingerbread Kisses, which are both perfect for these treats, right? So there you go. And then I will go ahead and I'm going to stick down these little bows onto the front of these treats. And, you know, like I said, easy, easy stuff. And I'm going to do that twice. So I'll add the second little bow. Isn't that cute? And then I'm just going to flatten those little bows a little bit because I'm going to put those little Hershey Kisses in the centers of, center of the bow. So I'm going to use um, Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And this is when I make a mistake, but I left it in because, you know, you got to see it. I didn't like the way it bent there. So um, I end up using two Stampin' Up Dimensionals to get it a little bit higher than the bow. So that will allow the little Hershey's Kiss to lay flat. And now I'm pulling out Shape Sprinkles from Doodlebug. And these are called Eye Candy. Now, I don't know if you can get these ones anymore, but, you know, you could use Google Eyes, whatever you want to, whatever you want to use. I just thought I've got a bunch of these little shape sprinkles and I thought I should use them. So I'm going to use them. So there you go. And I'm going to add two to each little Hershey's Kiss. Isn't that cute? And then I'm pulling out um, another set of shape sprinkles. These are called Rainbow Hearts. And I'm just going to add three of these little hearts to each treat. You know, because why not, right? I'm using a little pen blade to do it just because I find it hard to get them off the sheet and then on to what you're putting them on, if you know what I mean. So there you have it. I'm just going to pop that last one on. And I really love, I, I don't know, treats are fun. And they're fun to make, like really, other than getting other than getting the little crushy kisses in the bag, because, you know, I drive myself crazy. They've got to be all perfectly flat and, you know, but that's just me. So thank you for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on all these treats. And thank you as always for watching my videos. And we will see you soon in the next one. Bye everyone.